Hey, shalom, shalom, my Lord, praise His glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachah Hakodesh, and double honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect. I'm your brother Mark Collette from the Great Millstone Jamaica camp. Now, I want to start off this lesson by reading Baruch. <coughs> so, like, yeah, the third chapter, verse 8, it says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments. According to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, our power. Hear, Israel, the commandments of life give ear to understand wisdom. How happen it, Israel, speaking to you Latinos, Native American Indians, and so called Negroes, eh? He says, That thou art in thine enemy's land, that thou art waxing old in a strange country, that thou art defiled with the dead. Says that thou art counted with them that go down into the grave, thou hast forsaken the fountain of wisdom. For if thou hast walked in the way of the Most High, thou shouldest have dwelt in peace forever. No, this is the reason why I brought out that scripture here. Let me just play this video, right? No, in the scriptures it is written that own our own wickedness would correct us, right? No, this video has been circulating as if you know. Oh, some people saying that they are nasty and you know eating other rubbish truck and whatever. No, first thing first, let me say this: if 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 they ain't collecting the garbage, yeah, there's a problem. You know, if the garbages aren't being collected, no, the problem is who is collecting the garbages. You know, that's that's the, that's the true problem. No, we have sinned against our power, and, and and these are the things that happen to our people because we have sinned against our God. And uh, you know, the, the the body naturally get used to something after a while. Even like a cologne, you know, you spray a cologne on your body, you don't smell it after a while. You know, that's how the the senses work. But this is to show the hardship that our people had to go through. You know, that's the reason why there's a rest prepared for our people man there's a rest Yahweh shot and a cease from his labors and and, and and he he had already been you know into his rest and there's a rest prepared for our people nevertheless not all Israel want that rest because for some reason they glorified in uh, they glorified themselves in saying I'm a I'm a hustler you know or a smuggler or something to that effect but for the elect there's a rest and that rest that that um, the elect is basically uh, seeking, you know, they, they they know that they have to labor to enter into that rest, as it is written, labor therefore to enter into his rest. No, <laughs> oh boy, no. See, when we when we turn from the Yahweh Bashem as I said before, these things happen on us, man. No, so let me get uh, uh oh shit. Pardon me, my allergies are acting up a bit. You know, let me get this scripture here. See, because all it's <coughs> lucky, you know, <coughs> my bad, <coughs> my bad man, it's lucky. No, we are the ones to be cleaning this garbage, man. Oh, people. <coughs> Oh, they are servants, yeah? The so-called Chinese. <coughs> it is written in all the scriptures that Moab is my washpot, you know? And over Edom, the Lord did cast his shoe. So I'm going to read, uh... <coughs> let me read, um... <coughs> Ecclesiastes 10, verse 5. It says, There is an evil which I have seen under the sun. <coughs> As an error which proceeded from the ruler... Folly is set in great dignity and the rich sit in low places. And you can see, all people is the rich man. We are the beloved of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. We are the chosen seed. You know, we are, we are, we are the, they are the sons of the heavenly father, right? It says, Folly is set in great dignity and the rich sit in low place. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. 
Remember that movie Django and Chain when uh, Samuel Lee Jackson Jackson play Hunger Tom? He said, What that nigga doing up on the night? See, because even in history, you know, we couldn't be up on horses, man, because horses represent a position of power. You know, that's the reason why, you know, they measure this the power of like an engine, like a two hundred hours power, three hundred hours power, you know, some something like that. So horses represent power. So see we have no power saving Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And because we haven't uh, returned to our God as yet, then these are the things that we're going to face, man. So why not labor to enter into the last rest? Yes? I'm a soon company time for you. So lucky about that, my kids. Um, uh, yeah, as I was saying, you know, we're not in the position of power, man. See, so we're gonna be in the slum and this and and and, and the gutter, you know. We are actually the offscoring of our things in this world. This world is not for us, man. This world is for the elites, you know. And they are bringing hell upon this world even more. And and you best believe, even though these men, you see them in the, in the back of the truck eating, and you know, they, 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 it's it's because of suffering, man. And one of the reasons why is because we sinned against our God, you know. So it's time for us to repent. But uh. You know, they're, they're working their honest bread. You know, they ain't smuggling. You know, they, they ain't doing anything illegal um, on the video. They're working their honest bread. You know, as it is written by the sweat of thy bro, thou shall eat bread. They're working their honest bread. But, uh, you know, the wages that they're earning, man. As it, uh, <laughs> no, the minimum wage here is uh, $7,000, some $7,000 something per, per week. Which seven thousand dollar would be uh, roughly fifty something dollars in the U.S. or fifty dollar in the U.S. because the the, the 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 Jamaican dollar keep on sliding as a mother heifer, man. You know. So just imagine you being in the states working fifty dollars per week. <laughs> you know, that's the reason why a lot of people out here would thought that. You know, being in, in, in America is a better thing or, you know, it's a better place because the currency is stronger, you know. But let's go to the scriptures, man. You know, this is Haggai chapter 1 verse 5. It says, Now therefore say the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. You have sown much and bring in little. You eat, but you have not enough. You drink, but you are not filled with drink. He clothe you, but there is none work. And he that earneth wages... Earning wages to put into a bag with holes. Thus say the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. See, so you're doing all these, these, these um hard labor. You so much you bring in little. You know, whether 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 it, it be if, if it's actual seed that you're sowing, you know, worms eat it or eat uh, genetically modified. You like them them white flies that come and them eat the dashin, they are on the sour sap and you know, all these things that when we was growing up, we didn't know. And these big white snails and, and so on and so forth. And whether the blasting or whatever. See, it, it, it's, a, it's a curse world we're living in, man. And without Yahawashai, it, it, it can't get better. You know, but as it is, as Yahawashai said, you know, um, they that be holy, not a physician. So first, the, you therefore have to acknowledge your faults and your offenses, man. And, and, and confess unto Yahawashai with a pure heart, you know. With a true art, let me say that. Let me not use the word pure. With a true art, and in believing on his words, and believing that you sin against the Lord, hoping that he'll deliver us from the days ahead, which is the time of Jacob's trouble, man. And with that, I want to say shalom. I just, uh, shalom, I just want to keep these lessons short, man, you know? Shalom.